Brothers, this past Tuesday, the Power Circle met. And typically we meet on Sundays at eight o'clock central. The link is in the description. But due to uh, the brother, uh, Soul Immortal, check out his channel, being under the weather, uh, we, we rearranged it and we met on Tuesday. And I was able to be the point man of Tuesday session. And the topic was how to forgive yourself and move forward. Now, in this life, man, this is a this is a contact sport. You don't go through life without hurting someone or being hurt. It's impossible. Uh, that's part of life. That's part of uh, learning and teaching uh, in life. You know, these are the lessons we learn. Uh, the number one lesson is to learn how to forgive. You know, to forgive is to love. To not forgive is to have fear and hate. And um, there's just no way around it, man. All of us, including myself, have been in a position where we needed to be forgiven and where we needed to forgive someone. And forgiveness can be so complicated, you know, in so many ways. Uh, but Tuesday's topic was about forgiving yourself. And I think that's the most difficult thing uh, is to forgive yourself for transgressions and iniquities and failures and, and just situations where you, you uh, dropped the ball, you didn't live up to your own standard and do the things you wanted to do. You, you weren't the, the father you wanted to be. You wasn't the, the brother or the son you wanted to be. You wasn't the employee or the, the manager, the boss you wanted to be. Uh, or the steward of money, you know, it wasn't the friend you wanted to be. And sometimes we can take those things to the grave, those guilts, those regrets, and not forgiving ourselves. But I, I found out that the people that have uh, the most difficulty in forgiving themselves have a hard time forgiving others too. And uh, if you can forgive yourself, it's easier, not easy, but it's easier to forgive others because you just have a different uh, perspective. You have a healthy perspective. Uh, but, you know, through some research, I discovered that 61% of all cancer patients suffer from the inability to forgive. They have forgiveness issues, 61%. Look it up. Man, that's amazing. Let's talk about it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the man. You know, forgiveness is a disease that, that can't be seen. And sometimes only you and the other person, you know, know it's there. But most times, only you know it's there that you have not forgiven. And it's a cancer. It eats away at you. It, uh, it blocks your spiritual growth. It blocks your emotional growth. And it hinders your health, your physical health. You know, it eats away at you. It's a silent killer. Uh, but it takes away from your ability to live a joyful and fulfilling life. Now, when I say forgiveness, I'm not saying you have to keep a relationship intact. But I believe we got to let go and release the pain, the hurt, uh, the disappointment that we feel uh, towards ourselves and others. And I believe the key to forgiveness, man, we have to start seeing each other as spiritual beings having a human experience and this life is like practice you know it's practice and we're, we're learning on the job you know what i'm saying no one has a manual no one has a blueprint really when you're born you're just learning on the job you know you're picking up habits and tactics uh as a child from 
other people, parents, uh, neighbors, you know, uh, coworkers, students, whoever, you, television, you're picking up habits and uh, ways of thinking and, and reasoning and handling situations from other people who are learning on the job is the blind teaching the blind. And so we start dealing with situations just like our parents do, just like our siblings do, and it's not healthy. And, you know, sometimes it takes that one person to break away and to be, you know, to be awakened and say, hey, this is, this isn't right. You know, the way I was raised, the, the way I was reared is, is dysfunctional. And uh, I got to go about this differently. And I got to raise my kids differently. Uh, but forgiveness, man, it's all about ego. It is, man. You know, forgiving yourself is basically not, not being able to forgive yourself. It's basically saying, I don't have the right or the leeway or the room not to be perfect. I have to get it right. Uh, and, you know, I can't be human. I can't have a human experience. You know, uh, you got to take yourself off that pedestal. And you may not even realize it's a pedestal, but not allowing yourself to be human and make mistakes is placing yourself on a pedestal. Now, I'm not saying that it's okay or that you're saying it's okay when you forgive yourself. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all because it's not okay uh, to not meet your own standard or to hurt people. That's not okay. Uh, but we got to show ourselves some compassion, some, some leniency, some love, you know, and then we're able to show other people that same compassion, you know, and if we want people to show us compassion and love, we got to give that out. You know, you got to, you got to mirror what you want. You got to send out the signals and the vibrations of what you want to receive. It'll come right back to you. And so that's what forgiveness is, or the lack of forgiving is about ego. We got to manage the ego. I'm not saying destroy the ego, but we got to manage it. You know, I, I, uh, before I tackle this this topic, I asked Yaya, how many people did she know that were close to her that she had a relationship with? Suffered from or uh, passed from cancer. And right off the top of her, her head, she can name three, I believe. And I said, did, did these women uh, suffer from the lack of uh, or suffer from the inability to forgive. And she thought over it and she said, yeah, yeah, they, they did. They had some, uh, they had some gripes, some deep gripes against, against people. And one lady had a dark secret, a dark, dark secret uh, within the family that she carried with her to her death. And uh, and I'm talking about a dark secret, and I'm like, man, that that's that's crazy, you know, that we we put ourselves through that. That the ego would prevent us from being vulnerable and admitting our mistakes, you know, our mishaps our imperfections, and we rather carry that with us, carry that guilt, uh, that embarrassment, that shame with us, and and harm our bodies, harm our spirits, our minds, our bodies, instead of just laying it all on the altar and saying, hey, I failed, I messed up, you know, uh, we don't want to be embarrassed, man, we don't want to be shamed. And uh, we'll hold all that stuff in. On the flip side, man, we we have a hard time forgiving others because 
we don't want to seem weak or we don't want to potentially put ourselves in the position again of being harmed or hurt. Man, you you are you shorten your life when you do that. Yeah, you, you have just uh subtracted quite a few years from your life and actually you're killing yourself from within, you know, and, and you don't even know it. Uh I guarantee your your uh, body organs are not functioning properly. You can't think properly. You can't tap into the spiritual world easily or properly. You know, it's a hindrance. And through, uh, it wasn't meant to be that way, man. Through God's economy, uh, there was no need to to have forgiveness or be forgiven it was perfect you know but you know we have free will and we have free will to love to hate to hurt and so through that we have to learn forgiveness forgive ourselves and forgive others uh that's why most people get divorced man i'm telling you that's why most people get divorced because they can't forgive themselves or they can't forgive. I'm telling you, man, that's why most people get divorced. It's one of those two reasons, man. Uh, the inability to forgive themselves or the inability to forgive the other person. Uh, a hard heart. A hard heart uh, affects the blood flow. You know, it affects the body. It affects your spirit. It affects your mind. Everything is off balance. You know, uh, when I got on Facebook a few years ago, I hadn't been on Facebook that long. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see my place in it. I couldn't really figure out how I fit in. I just saw a lot of gossip. And uh, like I, I really don't fit in. I don't know my place. So I really didn't get on Facebook until I... Uh, became co-owner of this this lounge uh, slash nightclub and I started promoting and so that's when I really got on Facebook because I was like there was a reason for me to be on Facebook I needed to promote and then you know after that whole experience with the lounge uh soon after that I started writing the book so that was another reason for me to be on Facebook and I was like I was like man this is this is my place to motivate to learn, to teach, uh, to promote whatever I got going on. That's where I fit in, in Facebook. And so I found my niche. Uh, but when I initially got on Facebook, man, I started seeing all these women I had uh, interactions with or dated. Not a bunch, but a, a few. And it didn't end so well, you know, uh, mostly uh, at my doing. It didn't end so well, broke some hearts. And every time I would see them pop up, you know, as a suggestion, as a suggestion to uh, friend request, I'm like, wow, wow. So, you know, they were, would uh, friend request me and I would accept and I would see their timeline. And every time I would see them, that memory of how we ended and what I did, whatever, the hurt, uh, the, the, the hurt I uh, inflicted would pop up in my head so man i reached out to these women uh one by one and i said hey I'm, i apologize how that ended back in the day um you know sorry it went that way and it was only like three women and you know each one of them said hey i appreciate it thank you it's all good and that was it you know we never had any more contact i wasn't trying to get reacquainted, anything like that. But, you know, that bothered me. And so I had to, you know, ask for forgiveness. And some would say, man, that, that's kind of, that's minor. That comes with love and war. It comes, you know, in relationships, you know, being hurt. Yeah, but, it, it, you know, how, how I went down this sit with me well, so I had to ask for forgiveness. And they said they forgave me. But, uh, you know, there's been no contact since then. But, we got to do that, man. We got to 
we got to uh, reach out to people and ask for forgiveness. And they may not forgive us. That's not your problem. You can't worry about being forgiven by the unforgiving. You, you can't worry about that, man. You just got to uh, do what you have to do to make sure you're in sync with the universe and you're in sync with the inner God and you, uh, your inner God. And, and so, uh, but you have no control over the other person, how they receive it, how they respond, but take accountability about forgiving yourself, man, for, you know, not living up to whatever you wanted to be uh, or how you wanted to move on this earth and about, and you got to forgive others. You know, we all, we all harm and hurt people, all of us. There's not one person on this earth that has not offended or hurt someone. Uh, that's not, there's not one person that has not been hurt or offended. So we got to practice, you know, forgiveness. We got to, or uh, we're doing ourselves and others a disservice, man. We're shortening our lives. And like I said, man, researchers say, 61% of all cancer patients suffer uh, from the inability to forgive. Bro, that's not by accident, man. Yeah, so so don't get caught up in that. Hey, lay down the ego, manage the ego, do what you got to do. All right, as always, from me to you, love, peace.